Stratford businessman who used his convenience store premises as a cover for a drug supply operation must now hand over almost £81,000 or face an extra year behind bars. Rafiq Khan, aged 30, was jailed for more than eight years in December. The prosecution described him as a principal member of an organised crime group with responsibility for acquiring Class A and B drugs in bulk and disseminating them to others further down the chain. Khan's benefit figure from criminal conduct was assessed at just over 137,000 bonds, and the judge confirmed that if the confiscation order was not met, he faced another year in prison. At the sentencing hearing in December, Prosecutor Camille Morlan told the court that Khan owned the Feather Road Mini Mart, which was the focus of a police investigation, which included the analysis of CCTV footage and the compilation of a diary detailing the activities of Khan and his co-defendant, 23-year-old Leonard Badwell. Both Khan and Badwell, of Airedale Road, Bradford, pleaded guilty to participating in the activities of an OCG over a month-long period in February and March 2021. But Badwell's plea was only on the basis that he acted as a low-level cannabis dealer. Khan was spotted handing over cash to someone in a BMW and on another occasion, wearing gloves to retrieve a package from the shop when police forced their way into a high-spec rental property. Linked to Khan in September, they found the keys to a Ford Ranger pickup parked outside. In the vehicle, police found a JD Spots bag containing a quantity of cash and a similar bag containing a one-kilo block of high-purity cocaine worth more than £40,000 on the street. Bradford Crown Court heard that Khan, who had served prison sentences previously for drug supply, also ran a successful construction business, which had been involved in lucrative contracts such as rebuilding a sports centre and doing work at local mosques. But Judge Jonathan Rose highlighted the fact that despite running successful businesses, Khan was motivated by greed to involve himself in drug supply. The legitimate income you were earning was not enough to satisfy your greed, he told Khan. Khan was sentenced to a total of eight years and eight months in prison after he admitted to playing a leading role in the OCG, as well as possession of cocaine, with intent to supply and possession of criminal cash. What is clear from the evidence in this case is that this was a crime group organised by Yukon, said Judge Rose.